Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to take a couple minutes and just provide for you how I prefer to put on my SBD knee sleeves. Um, I do wear my sleeves pretty tight and I know some of you might be interested in kind of sizing down and wearing some tight knee sleeves for as much carryover as you, you can get and provide the most support for your own squatting. Also, I do want to take a little bit of time and talk about um, why I wear my sleeves like I do, where I place them on my knee, and I actually have a little bit of, you know, science and math behind where I put my knee sleeves to back up my opinion for that. So we're going to go ahead and look at that at the end of the video. So as you can see, this is my normal routine for putting on my sleeves. The first thing that I do is... Obviously, I take my shoes off and then I fold the top of the sleeve down and the bottom of the sleeve up. So you can see they're kind of like half folded over each other. And then I use those as like a grip. I get my fingers under the bottom of the sleeve and then I will, you know, use that as leverage to be able to kick away. And we'll see right here, right? I kind of just pull it straight up my calf. And then once I get the sleeve where I want it to be, then I unfold both sides kind of into place. And the nice thing about doing it this way is, you know, if I want to move the sleeve up my leg, and as you can see, I'm about to do it right here, right? You can then fold it down again and kind of inch it up. And if you're wearing tight sleeves, you know, this is kind of the best way that I've found to do it. I will also note that you know, you're not allowed to use socks or bags or things like that in most IPF competitions. So that's why I choose to do it this way. Okay, so now that I have shared with you how I put on my knee sleeves, I do want to provide a brief explanation for why I wear them like I do. And hopefully this kind of conveys to you all why there is indeed an optimal way to place your knee sleeve on your knee. So here I have two lifters, right? These represent legs and this represents their knee sleeve placement. You'll notice that on this lifter, the sleeve is as high up as possible. You've got the logo or the bottom of the sleeve kind of over the patella tendon of the kneecap and that provides more sleeve to go up the leg. And then you have another lifter who leaves the sleeve kind of low, which covers more of his calf, but it doesn't go nearly as far up his hamstring and quad. So as you just saw from my demonstration on putting on the knee sleeves, I prefer to place my sleeves higher up on my leg. And I actually have a scientific kind of reasoning for this uh, to get as much carryover from my knee sleeves as possible. Now, whenever I say carryover, I feel silly as a raw lifter even thinking about that, but let's be honest, as competitors, we want to get the most out of our equipment in order to lift as much weight as possible. So in order to understand why one of these is more optimal than the other, we have to understand this concept of torque. Now, torque is a physics concept that has to do with um, levers and forces that are being applied by a simple machine, which is a lever. Now, to try not to bore you all, right, essentially, we're going to be talking about how the distance of your knee sleeve, right, and this is going to act as a lever arm, right, so the difference in these distances can change the amount of force that's being applied at your knee, which as you're lifting things, you want as much force to be applied at that fulcrum as possible because you'll be able to lift more weight. So the equation for tangential torque, which tangential just means the force is being applied in uh, one direction. In this case, I kind of drew it backwards, right? The force is being up because you want to straighten your leg. So I could draw that on either side. It doesn't really matter. The force is going this way to kind of hopefully straighten out your leg like so if I wanted to draw it like that. Now the torque equation is the torque 
that's applied at the fulcrum is equal to the radius. Now by radius, all we're talking about is this distance. So the distance of the lever arm times the amount of force applied at the end of the lever. So in this case, right, I'm going to set an amount of force and um, this is by no means an actual measurement. Let's say that our sleeves can apply one newton of force at the end of the sleeve for both of these lifters. Depending on where this is placed using this equation, it's going to change the amount of torque that's placed on the knee. So let's go ahead and make up some numbers. Maybe this is um, centimeters. I think the sleeves are generally, uh, I think it's 30 centimeters high. So I'm just going to make up some numbers. Let's say this one's 20 centimeters and then this one, because they have the sleeve pulled down further, there's less sleeve above their knee. Maybe it's only 10 centimeters versus 20. So whenever we plug in this equation to figure out how much torque is being applied at the fulcrum, it's going to be the radius, in this case 20 centimeters, which in this equation it needs to be in meters. Don't really worry about that, right? It's 0.2 meters times one newton. So the torque that's applied at the knee for this lifter is 0 0.2 newton meters of torque. Whereas this lifter, you're going to plug in the same equation except this time they only have 10 centimeters as their radius. So it's going to be 0 0.1 times that same one newton that we have and that's going to give us a torque of 0 0.1 Newton meters and there you go so just because of the placement of the knee sleeve this lifter is getting double the amount of force production from that elastic energy that's coming from the sleeve in this theoretical scenario so that's my backing as to why you want to wear your sleeve as high as possible as long as it's still anchored below your knee understand that some organizations have limits as far as how high you can pull your sleeve up, but there is physics behind this and there it is. You don't even have to understand, you know, the depths of torque, but just looking at these numbers, you can see, oh, there is a difference. So that's kind of my two cents and how I put on my knee sleeve. Hopefully that helped you all. If it did, please like and subscribe. I appreciate it. And until next time, happy lifting.